Okay. So what were a couple of the ideas from this table? What was one idea? So the CEO of one of my clients, Shell Oil Company, he said the only competitive advantage left, because all of us have all the technology, we know how to get first on Google online, we you know we got we got all that stuff, all the information. But he said the only competitive advantage left is who learns faster. You or your competitor. Who's learning faster, who's implementing faster? Who's changing faster? How, are we keeping up with the changes that are going on? Yeah, absolutely. So we also train because conditions are always changing. We have to upgrade our software. We even should be upgrading the hardware, the brain. The software is all the information we're getting and how to solve problems. Excellent. Another idea. So we want to help people remove limits that they have on themselves and enjoy their success ourselves. So Petra's four chair story, that, I was true, I was really being honest with him, we're not going to go on. He came back and he said there are no chairs with uh, these no armrests. And I said, well then we're going to just have to stop. I'm going to stop the training right there. But that was for him. And he was like, you're going to stop. I said, absolutely. I need those four chairs. Now you go back out. I said, in this block somewhere, there are four chairs. And they need to be in this room. So what happened was, I will now tell Petro anything. He said, done. I will do it. Even to the extent what I like to come out looking like somebody else sometimes when I present. So when I do the change process, I come out looking like Merlin. Beard, hat, thing. And I said, I need a costume for Merlin. Done. <laughs> and by the seven o'clock that evening, he had my costume for me. But now he has no boundaries. He broke them. Erased the limits. So now he's known around the world because that woman who said, are you? Petru Four Chairs was from Spain. Because uh, I told his story, it was in Spain. So now he's widely known as Petru Four Chairs. Yes? I have several ideas. Sure. We have self-development, okay. self-growing. Good. Because we like to learn one from each other. Hmm? It's easy to learn one from each other. If we, I have a neighbor, you have a neighbor, and we share it, at the end we have one neighbor by each. But if we have, I have an idea, and you have an idea, and we change it, at the end we have two ideas by each. Wow. Okay. Very good. Wow. And now I'm hungry for an apple. <laughs> All true. Absolutely true. And when we look at business or... Uh, Ourselves as individuals, we're asking ourselves for a couple of things. Jack Welch said there are four E's and one P. Jack Welch ran uh, General Electric. He was widely known as one of the best managers slash leaders in the country while he worked. And um, anybody know the four E's and one P? Yeah. You do? Who? What are they? Right, and exactly. And what gets them engaged and involved are these E's and P. And if you don't have them as a coach, you won't be a very good coach. The first E is energy. The second E is energize. 
The third E is the edge. The fourth E is execution. And none of these work without the P, passion. So the four E's and P was his formula. What I realize is everything we do in training and education is for this. We want the discretionary energy, and that is the energy that an employee or a coachee chooses to exert in service to coworkers or customers at work or in life or not. How do we get this discretionary energy? What is that? See, discretionary means available for use at the discretion of the user. So let's call an employee here. The employee has 100% energy, but depending on the environment, internally and externally, I give you 50% today. Or I can give you 100%. Good coaches get 100% from people. And they need their agreement. They need to actually access that other 50%. Because a lot of employees, they come in every day and give us 50%. I, I, I'm paying you for 100%. Discretionary energy is the get up and go that the employee is willing to contribute beyond the basic requirements of a job. If people just do the basic requirements of a job, we're not going to be successful. We got to get that discretionary energy. 